In this video, I will show you how you can directly manipulate the output register of Arduino, how to use a new control structure called switch case. And we will use all of that to control this seven segment LED display. And this is part two of our DICE project. The first thing that you should do is take a look into the datasheet of your specific seven segment LED display. In my case, it looks like this. It has seven LEDs plus one for the dot. The schematic looks like this. Two anodes, which is pin three and pin eight. I use this copper wires right here to connect to the anodes on both sides. And then we have one cathode for each LED. And I already added 150 ohm resistors so that we can directly drive the LEDs using 5 volts on the Arduino Uno. Let's connect it. Perfect. We need a lot of cables. I will connect the anodes. I will connect them to plus 5 volts. Every LED has a character here. I would like to connect A to pin 0, B to pin 1, C to pin 2 and so on. So let's connect A pin 10, which is right here, to 0. Perfect. Let's try them out. Before we jump into the direct output register manipulation, I will just test if everything works exactly as we already did. So pin mode, I will define pin zero as output. And I would like to define pin zero, pin one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all of them as output. How can we do this quickly? We can use a for loop. Four bytes i equals zero as long as i is smaller than eight. I plus plus and put in pin mode I output. So all of them now are outputs. I will copy this stuff right here and now I will digital write I high high would be dark which is a little bit weird but this is how they are wired because they are connected to 5 volts on one side and then if we connect it to ground on the other side they will turn on if i connect it to 5 volt on the other side it will be 5 volt on both sides and no current will flow they will be dark as soon as i turn off the pins the led will turn on so here it will be turned off delay 1000 and then copy everything and make it low let's try hmm. ah, okay and now you see one thing that is problematic about this setup because um, pin 0 and pin 1 are also used to program the Arduino chip. So we shouldn't use pin 0 and 1. So I will put them like this. So now I will start at pin 4. So we'll start at pin 4, from 4 to 11. From 4 to 11, <coughs> from 4 to 11. Let's try this again. Oh, I see. From 4 to 11.
So perfect, you see, we have a blinking seven segment display. So if you take a look at the Arduino pinout, our pin zero is also port D zero. Pin seven is port D seven, but then pin eight is port B zero. Port D has exactly eight pins and then port B starts, but it has only six pins. I connected the seven segment display to the last four of port D and the first four of port B. So we need to manipulate both ports in order to display some numbers. Instead of calling pin mode for each and every pin, we can use the data direction register. We need both. We need data direction register D and the data direction register B. This is for the first few pins. We can write it binary. Now we can assign a binary number that represents the inputs and the outputs of this specific port. And you already know what the port is. So the port D is pin 0 to pin 7 and then B starts at pin 8 and goes up to pin 13. We want the first four pins to be inputs and the last four pins to be outputs. So I can write something like this 11110000. And this means <clears throat> that pin 0 is an input in one input, pin 2 input, pin 3 input, and then pin 4, 5, 6, and 7 is defined as output. We can do this by directly writing into the register. And with B, we need it like this, because pin 8 is right here, 9, 10, 11. Let's see if the LEDs still work. As you can see, we successfully replaced pin mode with these two lines of code, so we directly write into the output register. Be aware that we changed the whole register. There is a way of only changing parts of the register, and we will get to this in the next lesson. But in this lesson, we will write to the whole register. Now, this registers right here, data direction registers, I used to define if a pin is an input or an output. And there is a different register for turning on or off. And instead of digital write, we can now directly write to the register. This is the port output register, D equals, first we would like to turn it on, so B, one 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 zero 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 and then we have port B zero 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 one 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 and after the delay we will turn the pins off which means the LED is on. Here we will turn it off 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 off. Let's see what happens. Right now we are directly accessing port output registers to turn on and off the pins. Our goal here is to create a dice. The dice will have a random number between 1 and 7 will be generated. And the structure would look like this if random number equals 1. Then turn the LEDs on so that it looks like one. Else if random number equals two, turn the LEDs on so that it looks like two, right? So we could do it like this, but there is a cleaner way and that is by using switch. We switch based on random number. And then we have case one, case two, case three, case four, case five, and case six. So if the number is one, it jumps here. 
if the number is 2, it jumps here. <clears throat> so let me show you the first example, 1. I will go back to the datasheet. How would we display 1? We would have to turn on the LED B and the LED C. B is connected to 5 and C is connected to 6. And we can also turn on the dot. The dot is connected to 11. So we could do digital right pin 5 low because low again turns it on. Digital right 6 low. Digital right 11 low. So these three LEDs will look like one. But we need to turn off all of the other LEDs. It is absolutely useful to use the port register in this case. So let's write port B equals B. And now the first, um, the first one will be turned on because I don't want to turn on this LED. I want to turn on these two LEDs and then this one I don't want to turn on. And again this one I don't care. These are the first four pins that we don't use. On the second register, the B register, these four we don't use. And I will turn on the dot LED by turning off the pin. And then we will turn on the last three pins and therefore turn off the LED. It is confusing, I know. And there is one last thing we need to do, and that is we need to break because otherwise we will jump from case one directly to case two. And by using break, we jump out. We don't execute the other cases. This makes no sense because otherwise we would always see six. Because it would jump from one to two, three, four, five, and then six. And it will always look like six. If you know why, please let me know why switch is designed like this. Because to me, this makes no sense. And in some other languages, it doesn't work like this. You don't have to break. But in the Arduino programming language, we need to add this break. Technically, in the last um, case, we don't need to break because we already are at the end of the switch case. Now, let's cheat a little bit. Let's put it to one. Let's remove this code by commenting it out. And technically, we should see one. No, we don't. Int. Yeah, this should be an integer number. Yeah, I think we need to break to avoid errors here. And we see one. So here comes your exercise. Please fill out the rest of the switch case so that we see all the numbers. And now we already know the number one should turn on B, but in order to turn it on, we need to turn it off. So B is zero, C is zero, and the dot is zero. Let's continue with two. We have A, E, and D. C should be one, F should be one, and the dot should be zero. So that we see the same stuff as we see on the paper, I will switch this to perfect. You can select something and then press command D or control D if you're on Windows, D, D, D. And now everything is selected and I press command V and everything will be replaced. Good. We could also remove this at the last case if we want to should still work yes fine okay so your last exercise we should go through all of the numbers every number should be displayed for exactly one second we can do this with for loop 
for int random number equals one as long as random number is smaller than seven because there is no seven i would like to increase random number we remove this and put everything into this for loop right here like this now we cycle through but we cycle through very fast so i would like to add a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is one second let's upload it Hmm, something went wrong here. <laughs> um, so we have an arrow with two and with three. Yeah, I'm not able to do the alphabet in reverse. So this should be G and this should be F. And so, yeah. So let's change this. Zero one, zero one. Perfect. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. If you would like to share your thoughts, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.